Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, this is the episode where... Oh, Manatsu gets, um... Heck, I would have did this last night, but I was tired, and your girl was watching one of her shows, and I was just like, ah. And by the time I kind of finished the first season, it was like almost 4 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, we're doing this tomorrow. Oh my god. Yeah. So why don't you guys just have like a study party or something? I mean, mm, we all knew this was going to happen where, you know, mm, out of the four, one was not going to be the best at school. It always happens. And Aunt Evania is always the pinkier. Always. Mm-hmm. The other three or four or five are usually good at all their academic things, but then there's always one, the leader, who is not the best at their ish. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been craving ice cream all ever since what last week and I never got ice cream <laughs> But at the same time I kind of got to get ready for like Summer And try to lose weight because my mom wants to go to Orlando And then I gotta find a really cute bathing suit for myself, which I have found one and I really like it a lot And stuff and it's really cute and I was like yes but I'm like, mm -hmm. I still gotta buy, you know, gems for a game that I'm playing for and that, uh, like, I'm trying to get my wedding cards because my best girls and everything. But no, nah, it's just, you know, mm. and then also saving for an iPad. So, so much. Well, sometimes it takes too long. Good it takes time for things to be good, you know? I mean, what he could do is he could just put the stew on low and then just go kick some butt and then come back to it. <laughs> I mean, but you're getting distracted by Kuda and and Laura. Oh my god, this girl, mm hmm Too distracted. Girl! <laughs> exactly. Mm. 
I still want that Kodarun plush that I've been seeing. Like, oh my god. Am I going to have to choose between... Because <laughs> what if someone doesn't have it by the end of this month going into next month? Oh my god! All right. Monet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Damn, six minutes in and we're already... Oh, that's a new record. Damn, that's a lot. It's just so weird to see this, like, seven minutes in. I mean, how the heck is the rest of this episode about to go? I mean, because we know she's going to get affected by this. So, I, I... Okay. Powerful as of right now. I don't think that's gonna work though. I mean, yes, it's a powerful move, but I mean, this monster of the week seems a little too OP though. See? Oh. 
And there goes the motivation. This is not cool. Hmm? Oh, your shoes done. Excuse me. Even her hair, oh my god. Manatsu! Uh. See, the, once again, this is not Manatsu. This is Hibiki after, you know, when she works out really, really hard and she gets tired. I, I just, oof. I can't. Oh my god. Yeah, but now she's sleepy. <laughs> Come on, Mana. That's uh good. -uh. You don't want to act like Nobara, not today. Let's hope. Huh. Oh, God. But you have to, though, Laura.
Mm -hmm. I honestly might lose this if Laura doesn't hurry. Come on, honey. Uh. Huh? <gasps> Did you find it? Yeah, so where's the other <laughs> Laura, please hurry up. Don't be. A ribbon? Oh, a ring!
it's an egg. Uh, no, no, it, it's just everything. No. I can't with this group. <coughs> Throat, but once again, I can't. I cannot. I love you. So damn much. Like, oh my god, my fucking all stars. I can't. Mm, god damn, girl. Honestly. Well, you need to get better grades, hun. Honestly, this was a really good episode on just motivation in general because we all get in that rut where we don't want to do anything, especially like with the current situation that we are still in, even though a lot of us in the United States are probably not still as quarantined as we were in the beginning. But being confined and not being able to go out or still being confined, but having like a little bit of chances to go out, but you're still stressed and worried about what could possibly happen. You know, if you're going to, like, the movie theater, the grocery store, you're always watching your back and everything. And so it is a little ugh, pressure on yourself. But, I mean, for motivation on this, because, like, we all, we all get that way. Mm -hmm. we're, we're like, yeah, I don't want to do anything today. Mm -hmm. I, I'm too tired. I'm this, I'm that, and there. We all make excuses because I do it too. I do it too. I do it all the time. No matter how many times. Like you say, you know, I don't do that. But yeah, I do it. Especially when it comes to like, um, if I want to record something. Oh, I got fucking nail polish on my finger now. Um, <laughs> like, okay, for an example, I want to get my hair braided this week on Wednesday. And typically on my Wednesdays, I record nothing but my Patreon shows and the Garden of Sinner series. But I might have to record on a different day just to get my hair done. And then there are days where I'm like, I don't feel like recording today. I don't want to do it today. I'm tired. I woke up late. I did this, this, that, and the third. But in the end, I still get up and I, I get it done. Because I'm like, if I'm not going to do it now, who knows when I'm going to do it. And I'd rather, I'm a type of person where I'm like, I want to get it done now so I don't have to worry about it later. So that I can get anything else I need to get done, done. But the new, oh my god, the new little freaking stick. I want the stick so bad, oh my god. Like, oh, it's so pretty. Like, oh my god. Like, at first, without, like, the, the ring, it's pretty. With the ring, it's gorgeous. The new little, like, oh my god. Like, I don't know why, but I kind of got, like, feels not only the Doki Doki, but, um, like, okay, say the Moon Supers, when they got their long ribbons on the back of their skirts and everything, and how it looked so freaking cute, and I was like, oh my god, I want that, like, uh, oh god, I can't wait for Save the Moon Eternal, that's gonna be so good, but like, oh, they look so pretty, 
and then especially when all four of them are together and they say victory, I kind of got like carnival vibes, like you know, from uh, Brazil. Uh, that's the word I was looking for, Brazil, Deja, and such. But yeah, it's so pretty. I'm just wondering. So, like, with the last cure, whenever the hell she's coming, um, whatever color she's gonna be, how in the world are we gonna work it in? Because you have pink, you have red, you have orange, and you have purple. The only thing that I could possibly see going with that is green. Um, because of tropical as colors and such. If it was more like pastel, like if this was like a pastel type season, then yeah, I could see like any like baby blues or whatever, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. So yeah, only thing I can automatically really think of is green. Maybe, maybe a blue if they wanted to add a blue cure, but... I don't think they're doing that. And I don't want to know. But we'll find out probably soonish, maybe. I mean, because the last thing that I like I heard about the uh the final cure ish was her name, a little bit of her voice, so I can't pinpoint like who the say you is and not what she looks like. I know we're like including myself, we're all still hoping that Laura can be one, and I think it would be nice if Laura was one, just to tie in that connection. But I think they're also going to be like, okay, we're just going to add someone, whoever it is, but still my money is on Laura because it, it would make the most sense. You have everybody here, and I think her also being a pretty cure would also help her in a way of becoming queen. She's already learning lessons from Manatsu, uh, Mirarin, Sango, and Asuka all like every single week and then any other life lessons that she's learning outside of those four but if she becomes a pretty cure she'll be able to learn a lot more but we, we ain't gonna know until we get there but you know just gotta wait and see but you know you know me I'm impatient very very impatient but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday, Sunday for episode 11. Bye, guys.